Hello, hello, this is Rumberto and this is the HVAC in my channel. Today we're going to be talking about ASHRAE winter summer design temperatures and example, all right? So let's get into it. So number one, we need to really check on location, all right? So in other videos, I, I, I've been showing how to find this information in ASHRAE, all right? So let's go there and very quickly find the location. So for this example, we're going to choose Miami, Florida. But of course, if you are living outside, you can always choose Dubai, India, Australia, wherever you are located. OK, so I have a bookmark in here. As you can see, Ashray Climate, we click there. And I'm also going to leave this link in the description below. This is the link. OK, so for Ashray, we're going to have three or four options. We have 2009, 13, 17 and 2021. This is the most updated one. So I'm going to be using that 2021. And then on this part, you have the search button. So when you click on the search button in here, we're going to put Miami and then put Florida. So Miami, Florida, you have actually the weather stations, weather locations. So since this is since this is located, this is the closest one. So we're going to choose the A. So you click the A. So that would be my weather station for Miami. OK, so in Miami, what we're going to have in here is so we need to focus on only two parts. So heating, when do you need heating in winter? Right. So this is my winter design temperature. So you have two options, 99.6 percent and then 99 percent. Right. So in this case, for 99 percent, you have 54.6. That's my design temperature for winter. And then for summer, how do you know it's summer? Because in summer you need cooling. Right. So in summer we have at one percent. OK, 86.8. 7 degrees Fahrenheit. OK, so this video is mainly important because uh, there has. So I, I want everyone to understand the difference between percent uh, percent and percentile. Right. OK, so now that we know these numbers, OK, these two numbers, we're going to make this based on annual design conditions because there are two parts. There are annual design conditions and monthly design conditions. Right. So we have, for example, in here, monthly design dry bulb and mean coincident wet bulb temperatures. So we have monthly and annual. So we have this. Remember that part that I said annual uh, and even it says in here, right, annual heating and annual cooling. Right. OK, now that we have that, we're going to go to our video again and then we're going to put in here the location. OK, so let's put in here location. All right, location. Miami, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, Miami, Florida. OK, all right. So for location, Miami, Florida, <clears throat> we have these annual design conditions, annual design conditions okay design conditions conditions and i'm going to underline this because it's very important annual <clears throat> design conditions all right so we want to understand what is that 99 percent so we're doing this little by little right so we need we want to understand very well because um, that's the difference right so if you are a contractor or you are a, a mechanical engineer or a, a consultant you want to understand the concept right so usually when you have outdoor uh, design temperatures you're going to encounter these two percentages right 99 percent <clears throat> or 99.6 percent and then you're going to find 1% or 0.4%, right? So as general, let's do the 99% and 1%. And what about the percentile? Same thing. We're going to talk about that. OK, so let's resort to the ASHRAE definition. OK, so I'm going to pull that here. I'm going to pull that out here. Where is it located? Let me see very quick the ASHRAE design conditions. OK, OK, there we go. Here you go. All right. So what is the definition? So if we look at here, this is ASHRAE, ASHRAE 2021 fundamentals. OK, so under ASHRAE 21, 2021 fundamentals, it indicates the following. OK, so dry bulb in here, dry bulb temperature corresponding to 99.6 and 99 percent annual 
cumulative frequency of occurrence. That's the definition from ASHRAE. So anytime that you see this 99% or 99.6%, it refers to an annual cumulative frequency of occurrence. The same thing is going to happen for 1% and 0.4%, right? It's going to be another word, which is, uh, it's they're going to be the same word, cum cumulative frequency of occurrence of for the coldest month, right? Right there. So that's the definition. So we're going to put that definition in here. Okay, so let's go here and it says, okay, for 99%, we're going to have the annual cumulative frequency. Let's put cumulative, Q, cumulative okay cumulative uh frequency of occurrence okay frequency frequency of occurrence of occurrence 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 okay all right so now um what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna delete this very quickly because um i don't think this is relevant for now okay there we go okay so this is gonna be okay 99 percent cumulative frequency of occurrence so when we're talking about this 99 percent but this is gonna be annual okay this is based on annual conditions so uh let's do some kind of quick calculation in here when you're talking about annual okay but occurrence of what so what's the temperature okay again um let's do this a little bit better uh what is the 99 percent but what was the temperature the temperature for miami actually for winter it was uh 54 point okay this is 54.46 degrees fahrenheit right and also this is for winter i'm gonna put that in yellow so that way it, it's looking better right this is my winter design temperature Okay, my winter design temperature, they also call it heating. Okay, so uh, let's not get confused in here. Uh, I'm gonna put in here, uh, this is gonna be green again. Okay, so my winter design temperature annual is at 99% is 54.6 degrees Fahrenheit. But what is that 99%? That means my frequency of occurrence. Okay, but this 99% refers to time, right? So what time does that what what time are we referring to we're talking about i'm gonna put this in pink we're going we're talking about annual okay so when we say annual see when we say annual okay so this refers to one year okay so in one year how many hours do we have one year equals to 87 60 hours right 87 60 hours so when you're saying about 99 percent of the time of occurrence we're talking about 99 percent of this so we're gonna put 87.6 times what is the 99 percent of that so that means to the hours of 86 roughly 72 hours all right so in this case this indicates that uh 99% of the time of occurrence, which means, which is equivalent of 86, 8,672 hours, the temperature will be above this number. Okay, so let's put that in here. So we're going to put in here in under uh, quotation marks, um, about, let's put about, about, okay. 8,672 hours in a year, right? Because it's annual design conditions, the temperature, the temperature, and in my other video, temperature, in my other video, I talked about above, right? About 8,672 hours. So you know what? Let's put a comma in here. Comma, comma, comma. So it's a little bit more explanatory, right? Okay. So. Uh, 8,672 hours in a year, the temperature, the temperature will be, will be above, okay, above, fifth, oh, above, let's go back again, uh, sorry about that, okay, there we go, will be above 54.6 Fahrenheit there we go okay again so 99 percent refers to 
frequency of occurrence within a year, that's why it's annual design conditions, and then the 99% refers to 8,672 hours. See, my temperature will be above this number. So that is the 99%, okay? All right, so also when we talk about percentile also, because this is mostly an statistical data and a statistical term, so percentile would refer to 99th percentile or one percentile. So depends how you, uh, let's put like this 99th. Okay, okay. I don't wanna confuse anyone any more than sometimes I'm also very confused, but let's continue. So 99%, 99th percentile, percentile, okay. Or what is the supplement, like the complement? Okay, so this would be first percentile, okay, percentile. Okay, so this 99% cumulative frequency of occurrence, right, refers to the first percentile that indicates, if you're talking about first percentile, we're saying that only this first percentile indicates only in 1% percentile, let's, in, in 1% occurrence, let's put occurrence, the temperature will be lowered. There you go. So the temperature, on, there is only 1% occurrence that the temperature will be, go below this number. There you go. See? All right, so we're gonna go again, uh, we're gonna make the same example for, this is for winter. Let's do the same example for summer actually. So we're gonna put in here for summer, we're gonna have like 1%. And also we have like the other, if you wanna be more extreme, so 1.4%. Uh, in here, if you, if you wanna be more extreme, it's 99.6%, right? Okay, so when you're talking about that, again, it's a cumulative, well, let's put a, in here a cumu, Okay, so let's be very concise with that. Cumulative, let's go here, cumulative, okay. Frequency, frequency of occurrence. Okay, so overall you can always say occurrence, right? Frequency of occurrence, okay. And then my design conditions are for summer in this case. So in summer, summer, okay, for summer. Okay, so as you remember, for summer, what did we have? For summer, my design temperature was 86.7 degrees Fahrenheit, right? And for 87 degrees Fahrenheit, we're gonna put this in pink again. This is based on annual design conditions, okay? So for annual design conditions, what we're gonna have is again, this is based on annual is one year, and within a year, how many hours you have? 8,760 hours, okay. So let's calculate again the 1%, okay. The 1% of that is gonna be equal to 8,760 times 0 0.01. So this equals to uh, about 88 hours, 88 hours, okay. Again, this is within one year, right? I don't need to put that one year because it's obviously we put in here one year. Okay, so this 1% represents 88 hours, okay? So remember when I was saying in my other video above, so these percentages, okay, or see, I don't wanna use the term so much percentile again because it, create, it created confusion. So let's use percentage, okay? So let's put in here uh, about, see, about, about 88 hours in a year, in a year, okay, the temperature, <clears throat> the temperature, the temperature, the temperature, no, not quotation marks, the temperature will be above, 
will be above above 86.7 degrees degrees okay um the, again that's the term above that i was referring in my other videos above okay so above and this would represent again let's uh, i don't want any anyone to be to be confused let's put first in here percentile the first percentile uh, in this case, since we're talking about the first, it should be actually the 99th, okay? So the 99th percentile, percentile indicates that 99% of occurrence, occurrence, oh my gosh, this is not good. I want to make it better, okay. 99% of occurrence the temperature the temperature the temperature will be lowered will be lowered all right okay and this is very interesting because uh you don't want to oversize or you also for the worst case scenarios you don't want to undersize so that's that, that's what it refers to these design temperatures okay so uh, uh we're gonna put in here before i forget instead of winter this is gonna be summer so let's put in here summer okay summer and thanks so much for your comments because one of the comments was what happens if this temperature is negative for example, if you talk about degrees Celsius degrees and you say minus seven Celsius degrees in winter, let's put this in actually in white, so see everyone uh, everyone can see. So, if the temperature is oh, okay, if the temperature is minus seven degrees, seven degrees Celsius, that means. 7 degrees Celsius at 99 percent see uh, there you go at 99 percent if the, my temperature uh, that indicates that uh, 8,672 hours so in a year in a year the temperature will be above when I say above, don't say uh, it doesn't mean that it's negative, negative eight, negative nine, negative ten. No, above means warmer, warmer. So when you're saying warmer, okay, it means like eight thousand six hundred seventy-two. Uh, the temperature will be maybe negative six, negative five, negative, for example, negative, uh, negative one. Negative one is warmer than negative seven degrees Celsius, right? So the term above means warmer. And in the case of winter, it would mean, uh, in that case, cooler, right? All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your comments. Keep on adding your comments. And uh, as soon as I can, I will reply the comments and uh, keep on watching my HVAC EasyMath videos. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.